hello guys and uh, welcome to our channel so those who have not subscribed yet do subscribe our channel and uh, today i'll discuss more about the mbbs program in georgia so i received a request uh, from you guys like you're interested for mbbs in georgia also so i'll explain you how to find the details what is the fees admission criteria so let me show you if you have any queries you can leave in the comments so first of all i'll show you where is georgia because many of uh, you don't uh, know where is georgia so this is india you can see the map and uh, you can see the arrow here this is georgia and this is india and uh, if you minimize the map it will go towards europe so. and uh, you can read more about it like today we'll discuss about the this Tbilisi state medical university this is a university in georgia you can read on wiki about the details you can see here it's in georgia and it's a state university uh, how many undergraduates and postgraduates here so here is the website so you can just click it and they will take directly to the program this is the website of the tbilisi medical university so here these are the programs what they offer so you can see medicine dentistry pharmacy so those who don't want to do MBBS, they can switch to dentistry also. This is pharmacy and you can check the details from the website. This is about the, the rector. So all these details are online. So you can just go on their websites and they, you can click and you can find all the informations. Mostly you can also apply for the admissions online. So uh, this is about the program. It is the this you can see education program for medical doctor MD the MBBS which is known in India it says MD program in Europe here. So here it is the credit system ECTS like 360 ECTS. So every year you gain some ECTS and in total it will be 360 when you pass out. Uh, you can also uh, apply for the Erasmus programs the transfer programs to other countries while you are studying here the language of MA study is English so here you can learn about the programs the seminars the laboratory training it's a six-year program uh, with the internship included according to their curricula but uh, when you are going to India you need to do the exam and uh, you have to again do one year of training which is the internship after clearing the screening exam uh, who uh, want to check the NMC rules you can also check their websites I suppose now they have started like you need to clear the NEET exam and from the that score you can take the admissions abroad and that score of NEET is valuable uh, valid for three years so in during these three years you can take admission abroad uh, though this is the structure like students you have six years for MBBS then you gain this degree MD after that there are students who want to continue the studies here they can apply for other programs also master's degree PhD residency these are the departments you can check on their website surgery internal medicine here they are telling more about the program the curricula what are the subjects you will be taught here so mostly the, you can use the international books the study plan i leave the all these links in my comment section and you can check from there it will be more easier for you so now the main thing comes is the fees how much is the fees so here you can check the first year the medical doctor program english medium because they have other programs which is in other language Russian but for us is English and uh, here comes the tuition fees is 8000 US dollar per year so this is just the tuition fees you have to uh, pay for the mess for the apartment uh, here you can see the other programs also pharmacy program here So for uh, for you guys you can calculate accordingly like it's 8000 US dollars per year and it is a six year program. So this is for Georgia 
uh, this is the academic staff so everything you will find on the website like who are the professors you can check the CVs uh, this is the how to contact the the university this is the detail so uh, now like uh, if you want to know more details there is the Indian embassy uh, in Georgia there is no Indian embassy so the embassy of India from Armenia they are taking care of Georgia also so here you can see uh, there, is, there are some details regarding the medical education so this was uh, this one what I found was from the Indian embassy site you can see embassy of India year one it's in Armenia so they have guided you also like uh, what is the duration of undergraduate medical studies six years so everything to clear all the doubts they have summed up everything here what are the internship so mostly it's included here you can see here the six year completely comprises do medical uh, universities in georgia provide internship is the same as of india so they have provided all the explanation here Are Indian medical students allowed to touch the patients? What is the practical? Uh, so they have said here like they are allowed to perform the physical examination and certain medical procedures. So all the basic doubts what an, an Indian student has, the, the, the Indian embassy has tried to clear over here. So they are, these programs are create, uh, accredited by NCEQE. You can see here are well recognized worldwide. So it's recognized by the WHO. Does an Indian uh, student allow to get a license to practice? This is the question which everyone wants to know because the NMC has changed the rules and they want after you graduating, you should get a license, medical license to practice, which in Romania is not possible to get. So that's why you need to find an alternate country uh, to get the license. So you can see here they are saying like after graduating your MBBS, you can work as junior doctors or they can pass this exam in PDQE. Take the track of residency program, um, junior doctors. So most of the information they have tried to clear here, but still if you have any doubts, you can uh, email the embassy and uh, you can uh, uh, ask them about more details. So you can see here, a general advisory for the Indian students wishing to study. This is also on the Indian Embassy website. So these are the main uh, universities. This one is Yerevan is in Armenia and the TBLC is in Georgia. So our, uh, the MCI recognizes only the MBBS degree, not the post graduation. So if you're also doing here, you will not be paid and you need to uh, sit for four or five years for those M M PG courses and that are not recognized in India. So only for the MBBS, you can think for abroad. So you can see here on completion degree course, so Indian students are required to clear the screening test con conducted by MCI, which is now in MC. Eligible certificate. So uh, these two universities are only universities which are controlled by respective governments. So how much is the tuition fees and then the lodging fees they have read, uh, written here approximately. After you have completed your course, what you need to be done, the degrees need to be apostilled so to be recognized in India for the documentation purpose. But to practice in India, you need to clear the exam. So these are the list for the for the for the universities. So most of the details you will find online. The uh, the main motive for me was uh, like to make you familiar with the fees, what are the structure, and where you can find most of the details. So till now I have explained you about uh, Georgia, the medical university there, and now I'll be explaining you about the Armenian medical university. So uh, below Georgia, it's Armenia. It's in the same area, and. Uh, uh, there are more Indian students in Armenia. They will provide the hostels. The fees is much lower and they accept uh, students with low percentage in uh, PCB. So you can check the details on their website. So let me show you. So first of all, I will show you where is Armenia. So you can see here where is Georgia and below that is Armenia. And here is the India map. Uh, so 
for those who want to find like you can search uh, urban state medical university here is the details when the university was founded 1920 so it's a old university there is a link to the website this is the website of the urban state medical university it's the university of armenia and uh, you can find the details uh, in the indian Mem embassy website also but it's quite simplified there is an indian diaspora here also so when you're choosing a medical university what you need to see if it's recognized how many indian students are there what is the medium of the course uh, what is the past percentage when you're returning back to india so here you will find the indian diaspora and they provide the hostels the fee structure so it's quite easy uh, you can see here the entry requirements so for those students who have low marks they can apply over here candidate must qualify need attaining 50 percent marks so you can see in the entry requirements the procedures you can uh, fill online form over here what are the documents required so all the details are mentioned over here so let me show you a few things for the current students how many students are enrolled over here you can check here in the general medicine so in total number is 3000 students and duration of year 6 is general medicine they also have this uh, dentistry pharmacy like in other universities uh, what is the fees so the main thing which uh, is concerned is about the fees so over here it is like 5500 usd in the first year and then from second to sixth year is 5000 usd there is also a charge for hostel which you can see it's 600 us dollars so this one is uh, cheaper for those students who have low budget so they can check the details for this university also uh, you can see here when the course starts for september and there is a winter break and summer break so in which months you can go back home so there are some details over here uh, it's recognized by who it is a, you can see a six years course annual uh, first year hostel fee so all the details which you need it's here according to the mc all indian foreign graduates have to qualify the screening test to practice then comes here the candidate should have the minimum requirement of 50 percent of marks they have written here the, for the NEET must qualify the NEET then what are the documents required so the application form the CV school mark sheets and past certificates need to be apostille which I have mentioned in previous videos also you can check the NEET result birth certificate then comes the notary attested copy of above documents the passport size, color photograph, processing fees, the medical report, uh, valid passport and the uh, notarized photocopies. So how can you apply? So you can apply online but they also have a representative. Uh, so you will just see where you can apply. I'll show you the detail. They, it also provides the hostel, the food services. So this is the online form you can apply over here directly and they will reply you back. Uh, they have shown you what is the capital city of Armenia. Here is the Yerevan. Here is the medical university, currency. Uh, most of the religion are Christians. So some basic details of the country. So for those who are interested, now comes where you need to contact if you are interested. So you can apply online. They also have mentioned you the website over here. Plus there is a representative in India. So you can they contact them directly. You can see your representative of India. This is in New Delhi. I'll show you much closer. The Kerala office also they have. So you can contact him directly and he will give you all the details which is necessary.